like here. So I think I'm going to leave it there. And I think we'll give him kind of a shorter nose as far as um, the height goes, but I'll check out the extremes again here. So yeah, I kind of like the shorter nose for him, short and wide. And the depth, I want it to be close, but it looks like going the wrong way here. So there's the extreme that way. Kind of looks like the Wicked Witch a little bit. And then we'll push it back in to the extreme here. There we go. Now the top of the nose, I still want that to be wide, and I'm going to just do the extreme there. And the height, let's see what that kind of pushes up into the middle of his eyebrows there. And then we'll do the other extreme just so you guys can see that. So there's the other extreme. But I kind of like it to be smooth up against his brow there. And then the depth, let's see here. So there's the out to the extreme. And then we'll go in to the extreme too just to see what that looks like. Okay, so I kind of want it to be somewhere in the middle. So we're going to put it like at 40. Let's, we'll try 40 first. Whoops. My touch on the D-pad is not too great here. Alright, so there's that, the depth of the bridge of his nose. And then the nose tip. So since he is a dwarf, I'm going to give him kind of a broader tip nose. And then we're going to give him more rounded as well too. But I don't like that extreme. Looks too hooked. So we'll zoom in a little bit here too so you can see that. So I don't want the hooked nose. So we're going to pull that back until we get something that we like here. Maybe we'll just leave it at 50, but let's check the extreme though too. So that's actually not bad, but give it a little bit more roundness here. Alright, I kind of like that so far. And the nice thing about this too is you can always go back and change things if you're not happy with them as you add more detail. Like when we add his hair and his beard, you know, I may go back and change things too. Um, so now we're talking the length. So this is more smushed in. And then obviously you're getting more into the Pinocchio. Um, so we definitely don't want that, but we don't want, I don't want anyway to have the smushed one in. So I think we'll try 80 and see, see if we're happy with that. So that looks pretty good. And then the height of the tip, so this would be turned up. And this is going to be pointed down. So again, I kind of want somewhere in the middle. So actually, I might just leave. Yeah, let's go to 60 and see what that looks like. That's not too bad. All right, so now the nostrils. So I'm going to zoom in here. So you can see those stretching the, that would be his left nostril. So we're going to leave that. And then we're going to put this at 40 just because I like the even numbers. And then we'll leave the depth for the moment. And then we're going to match the width here from the left side. So left nostril is, is at 100. We're going to match the right side to 100 so that you have a little bit of symmetry. Um, so we're going to put the height at 40 again just to match. And we'll leave that alone. So there we go. So not too bad so far. Uh, and then the Trum. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope I am. And this is the area under his nose, uh, between his nose and his upper lip there. Um, so we're going to just see the extremes here. So there's the short and the wide. So we're, I'm going to go back to somewhere in the middle maybe. Maybe like... 60 maybe, a little over the center line. Here we go. 
And then the depth I'm kind of happy with, so we'll leave that alone. And his mouth. So we're gonna. So this stretches it left and right. So there's the extreme, and then the other extreme. So again, I'm kind of kind of leaning more for the wider mouth. And we'll go see what the fullness extremes are here. So there's full and thin. I think I kind of like the full for for this particular character, and then the depth. I'll show you guys the extremes. So there's the end. Kind of gives him a little bit of um, you know, what am I trying to say there? Kind of looks like he's got an underbite, maybe a little bit. And then there's the other extreme out. So I want to give him a little bit of depth just because that's what I'm going for here. So we'll try 60. And then this is going to stretch the left side of the mouth and then push it back in. So again, I think I'm going to go for the extreme here just to give him kind of a wider mouth. And then we'll, this kind of pulls, pushes the corners up to give kind of like a crooked smile and then down for the, the frown line. Um, so this character, um, he's kind of cocky, um, so I'm going to give him just a little bit of curl to the edges of his mouth here, so it goes to 70, and then we're going to stretch the right side to match the left, so this was at 100 on the left, and we'll put it at 100 on the right, and then we'll match the right side up to, um, the, for as far as the height goes, just so he kind of looks like he's smiling a little bit there. So that's not looking too bad. All right, so moving on to the cheekbones. So I'll show you the extremes. So this is pushed out. You can kind of see right under his eyes. You can see the cheekbone is very pronounced. And then this is going to pull it in. And I believe it sinks it in too. A little bit. It's kind of hard to see with the, with the way the lighting is. I'm not sure we can change the lighting. So let's see, match lighting. Yeah, we can change the lighting. That's good. Oops, what did I do wrong there? Oh yeah, go back. All right, so let's see here. Go back to the menus here. And yeah, I didn't do too much as far as the lighting is concerned, but that's all right. So I think we're going to give him a little bit more pronounced cheekbones. Maybe around the 65, 70 mark. See what that looks like here. Let's go to 70. Okay, and then the middle of his cheekbone. So that's pulling it down. And pushing it up a little bit here. And I don't think it goes in or out, right? Just up and down? Yeah, just up and down. So I want him to have a little bit higher. Or, I'm sorry, a little bit lower. So there's there's the max height there. So I think we're gonna go. Let's see what 60 looks like. Okay, and then the lower cheekbone. Kind of the same thing. This is pulling it down and pushing it up a little bit. It's kind of hard to see where it's going, but it's kind of right around his nose, the top of his uh, nostril there. Um, so I think we'll go 60 here too. Alright, <clears throat> now moving on to his cheeks. So that should be pushed out. And then this is going to be more squeezed in, sunken in, to give him more of that rounded, more defined look there. Um, but he's, since he is kind of a dwarf, and my apologies if I'm using that term incorrectly, but um, that's the term I used in my book, so that's the term I'm using here. So I don't mean to offend anybody. Um, so I think we're going to give him more rounded cheeks. Okay, and the height. So there's the extreme up. And the 
extreme down. So let's see here. Kind of going for more, more down, but um, don't want to go too far. So let's try 40 and see if we're happy with that. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. It's looking more rounded. And now the jawline. All right, so middle jaw fullness. We'll go to the extremes here, so you can see that's pushing out, and then pulling back in. So again, I'm kind of going for more of a rounded look, um, but I don't want, I don't want that. So I'm going to pull it back. I think 30 was where I saw that I liked it, somewhere in the 30 range here. So we'll go to 30. So, okay, that's not too bad. And then the lower jaw height, I'll show you the extreme. So this is pushed up. And then more, more down. So again, we're going to go for the rounded look. So let's try, try 60 for the moment. Okay. And then the depth, I believe this pushes it in and out. Um, so we'll turn them to the side there. So that's the extreme in, and then the extreme out. So I want this to be kind of symmetrical, not pushed in or out, just kind of, you know, right in the middle. So that's what we're going for. All right, now the back jaw fullness, rear jaw. So there's the extreme out and the extreme in. So I can kind of go in for a rounded look. So I think we'll put it there for the moment. And then the lower jaw, there's the extreme out and the extreme in. But for this, since we're going for a round, rounder face, I'm going to go all the way out. Okay, now the lower jaw length, okay, that's all the way down can kind of see underneath his uh, lip there. Jaw is all the way down. And then this will be all the way up. So it kind of changes a few things there. But um, again, going for a rounded look on this particular character. So we'll just go there and leave it there for the moment. All right, so the chin. Uh, let's see here. So there's the wide chin and the narrow chin. Oops, didn't go all the way, but there's the extreme narrow. So we're going for a rounded look. Um, probably gonna stop at 60, see if I like that for the moment. And then the height. So there's the chin all the way up. You can see it's pushing kinda almost into his uh, bottom lip there. And then all the way down, and you can see how it changes the area between his bottom lip and the uh, chin. All right, so again, rounded. We're just gonna stop at 40, if I can get it to go there. And then forward and back, so that's all the way in and all the way out. Okay, so go to like 50 again. And then vertical placement, this should be up and down. So there's all the way up. And all the way down. So I actually kind of like the, like it to be at the bottom there. That actually looks kind of what I'm going for. Okay. So now we're gonna change this. And I always forget what this is. Oh yeah, the back of the head. So that should be wider and then smaller. So you can kind of see it's pushing out and then all the way down. So I think we'll just leave it all the way down. Probably not going to be able to see too much of a difference anyway when we get him finished. Okay, so there's this face without any hair or any beard or anything like that. So that's kind of what we're going for. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and accept that. 
and then we'll move on to the body. So we're going to push the right bumper and then you push X to get into these different body um, uh, attributes here. Um, so we're going to change his height and we're going to give him, I think last year it was 5.4 was the minimum, right? Not, I can't remember. But anyway, we'll stop at the minimum there for 5.6 and then we'll go ahead and confirm that. And then his weight, um, I do like him to be a little more bulky, um, but I don't want him to be you know super bulky for his weight but these are the extremes so 640 and then down to 130 but I think I had him like at 230 something so I think we'll go 237 we'll put an odd number just to be different and then we'll go to body customization um, now this year what I kind of like is you can pick two different body types and then you can kind of combine them how you want. Um, so you could actually pick like, you know, you could give like uh, the muscle, the muscle guy. And then you can go over to the other side, if I have that on the right one now. And you can kind of give him like the bigger body too. And then you can blend the two, which is kind of kind of interesting. Um, so then we'll go back into the middle here, and you do that by pushing on the directional pad left and right. So right now um, you can see the uh, where it says 50/50. That's highlighted in red. Um, so I know that I'm on on the uh, uh, body slider here. And then now I'm over on the left side, and then the back in the middle, and then back on the right. Um, so to change this, you get back into the middle with the directional pad. You push X and then you move the directional pad um, left or right. So this is uh, moving it all the way over to the right side so you can kind of see he's a little bit bigger. And then we'll slide it all the way to the right. And he's more of a muscle bound guy now. So we're gonna try to find a balance between these two that, that I like anyway. Um, so kind of getting there. Might change the actual body type. I'm not sure yet. Let's try 70 and see what that looks like. Alright, so now I get out of here. You push X again and then move the directional pad to the right and I'm going to change this body type because I'm not too thrilled with it. And we'll see what this does. So that makes him a little bit skinnier around the waist. So let's see. So that's not too bad. Kind of what I was going for. But let's see what else we can kind of mix and match here. Um, let's see. No, I don't like that. That's too skinny. Too muscular for what I'm going for anyway. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to slide it over and just see what the differences are. So really muscular. And then just kind of a bigger guy. Um, still muscular. So let's put that... Let's try 60-40 maybe. So there, that's not too bad. I kind of like that. So to get back out of here, we'll push X and we'll, instead of pushing options, we'll just go down to the confirm button and push X on that. And then you can make fine tune adjustments. Um, so this is his neck. And we'll find something that I like here. Excuse me. So there, I kind of like that. We'll stick with that. And we can change the volume of the neck. So this is changing the height of um, the muscles there in the back. And then all the way down. So let's kind of go, let's try 80. There we go. And then the back muscles, um, let's see. I'll just find something that I like here. Just trying to look at all of them here real quickly. Yeah, 
Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. That one's not too bad. Let's try to see if we can find something a little bit more smooth, though, for this particular guy, anyway. Gonna go back through these here. So, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to see much of this anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference, but it's nice to know they're there if you want them there. Okay, now the chest. Let's see, what are we going for here? We don't want totally ripped, but we don't want... Okay, let's see what these look like. Actually, that last one there wasn't too bad. All right, we'll just do this last one. Call it a day on that. Uh, let's see, what does the volume change there? So... Yeah, I kind of like somewhere a little more out for this particular dude. So there we go. Okay, so now you can change the stomach and the abs. Um, let's see here, we don't want him to be... We want him to have a little bit of definition as far as um, this guy goes. I think we'll stick with this one. And then we'll leave the volume where it is. Um, shoulders, let's see. I'm actually happy with the way those shoulders are, so I'm going to leave those alone. And those arms. Yeah, I kind of like that too, but I just want to see what these other ones look like. It's actually, I kind of like this one for this guy. And then you can change the volume, obviously, on everything here. So there's one extreme. I don't really see what that is changing, to be honest with you guys. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, I'll just leave it there. Okay, forearms. So this is the lower. You can see there's the veins in his lower arm now. And we'll find something that looks good here. Actually, that one's not bad. I'm going to leave the volume alone. Um, the butt doesn't really matter to me. See what they all look like though, just to be do the due diligence here. Alright. Yeah, we'll just go with the first one. We'll leave that alone. Now thighs, um, since he is a dwarf, um, I always kind of give him more definition on his thighs. And there's really no explanation for that. That's just the way I like it. Um, so I think I'll go with this one. Leave that volume alone. And then the same thing with his calf muscles. I always envision this guy as having really strong legs. Um, so I either go with this one or this one. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the second one. Leave the volume alone, and then we'll confirm that. Um, I'm not going to change the veins skin color. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, I generally stick with the sample colors, unless I am importing a face. Um, and then you can also go down here and pick a color, and you can change the hue as well. Um, so I'm going to go back up to the sample colors and just kind of give him a little bit of, um, make him a little bit darker. Let's see here. That's really kind of like orangish. So I think we're going to go with this one here. And I'm not going to change anything else about it because I'm happy with that. Um, the oil, I don't like that, so I'm going to put it at zero. But um, I'll show you guys the extremes here. So this is... Um, totally oiled up and then this is like with the zero so there's just a teeny bit of sheen okay and now I'm going to change any of that so I'll go to accept and then we'll move on to the attire so we're pushing the right bumper um, I always start with um, the ring attire 
just because it's the first one there but you know some people will pick the entrance attire first and uh, and then kind of strip them down from there but I work the other way around I work uh, from the bottom up um, so we're gonna go with the ring attire whoops go up to edit and we're not going to change the attire type um, but you can do that so if you want them to be a manager in managers clothing you can definitely do that um, we're going to stick with the superstar and we're starting with the appearance we're going to go into the hair and facial parts and I like this guy to have longer hair um, so I'm just going to see what appeals to me here so let's see here if we can find something that looks good and he is blonde. Um, the character I made is blonde. So yeah, that's too shaggy. So these just some incredible hair types. And if I remember correctly, I had one last year that had like some braids in the hair. So let's see what um, what options are available this year. I haven't played around with this too much yet. Uh, so I got some crazy hair options. Yeah, obviously the mohawk and this crazy hairdo and then you got the shorter uh, dreadlock pulled back style let's see what else we can find here yeah, a lot of different options so let's see what's this one so I think actually this one might be the one that I had before so I'm going to keep that one in mind and just see what else is available before I make a final decision here. So yeah, there's a super long one. Uh, let's see. Wow. A lot of different options this year. So kind of the Rick James look, I guess. Is that what that is? And then, yeah, I don't think so, not for him. Okay, so we're going to go back up here and find that one that I had prior. I um, wish I would have kept a little bit better track of where that was. There it is. All right, so this is what I'm going to use for this guy. And you can change the material. That's interesting. Oh, okay. The glow and the black light, I forgot about that this year. So we'll just go ahead and accept that. We're going to change the color. So on this particular one, what I'm going to do is I'm not too far off of the color that I want uh, from that default color. I do want it to be a little darker. So we're going to go into the color picker. You know, we're going to move it a little more to the blonde spectrum and then maybe down a little bit so it's kind of like a oh what is that that's almost brownish so let's try up here and uh, I don't like that either let's move it all the way over there we go that's not too bad but it's still not what I was looking for so there's like a brightish, almost like a dyed blonde, right? So we move that down. Should be getting kind of into the browner, browner, dirtyish blonde. Is that what I'm? Hmm. That's not too bad. I think we'll stick with that for the moment. Okay, then we'll accept it. Accept. Not gonna do any hair dye. We'll confirm it. Um, now the eyes, there's all kinds of different options here. Like with contacts, I'll just kind of scroll through these. You, know, you got the happy face, uh, flower, you know, um, red eye, uh, hypnotic eyes. What is that? Tie dyed eye. You know, blue all kinds of different crazy stuff here. Is that a star or an X? Looks like a star. We've got the teeth eyes, uh, kind of like a robotic eye. And then a heart. So I'm just going to stick with the normal. 
on this guy and then I'm going to change the color. Um, now he in the book has blue eyes. So I'm going to give him the blue. I started with the sample color just so I can get the blue. And then you can go down to the color picker, push X, and then I want it to be a little bit darker. Actually, no, I don't like that. Let's go. So yeah, in the book he had kind of like um, what I described as like ocean blue, uh, which to some people, you know, is kind of a weird color. Um, but I think we're going to kind of go with a lighter. Yeah, I kind of like that lighter on his, on, on the game anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and push X and keep that and then push uh, the options to accept it. And then I'm not going to change the second or third color, but what that does is it will change the iris color. And then this is the um, uh, the white of the eye. You can actually change that to be any color that you want if you're going for a kind of a crazier character. So we're going to confirm it and then we're going to go into the right eye. I'm going to select that first option again and the nice thing about this is if you go down to previous colors it will save the color that you had before so you just select it push X and then push options to finalize and then confirm um, now let's see here we're going with a full beard first because um, what happens is if you choose one of these <clears throat> like the mustache. So you choose that mustache and then confirm it. And then if you go down to the full beard, excuse me, what happens is it kind of gets overwrote, um, kind of gets copied over, so to say. Um, so I always kind of start with the full beard first. And then to erase this, to get rid of it, all you do is go back up to, <clears throat> excuse me, go back up to the mustache, um, select it with the directional pad and then push square to remove it. <clears throat> then you can kind of start over. So now there was a beard that had some braids in it last year. Let's see what they've got this year. Options are a lot more limited. Um, let's see if we can get the goatee maybe. Maybe that'll help. So yeah, I've got a little bit more options here with the goatee, but I don't really like that. So I think this is what I had last year. Yeah, that's what I had last year, I think, for him. Kind of gets that long dwarven beard with the braids in it. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose that again, and then the color. And then again, you can go down to the previous colors, and you can match what you've selected before. So there's like his skin color. I think that was the hair color and then his eye color. So we're going to keep that. Okay, so now, since we have the goatee, now we're going to go to the mustache again and kind of fill that in a little bit. Let's see what I like here. So we kind of got some crazier options. That one's not too bad to fill him out. Let's just see what these other ones look like first, though. So, yeah, I think this crazy one here is actually going to fill out that face nicely. Okay, so we're going to go choose the previous color to match the hair. Okay, and I don't think we need to touch the sideburns. We'll just see what it looks like anyway. So you can see they can't choose that one because there are other options that I had on him. Um, so I think we're just going to leave him his sideburns alone. And then see the full beard. I suppose we could do that too. Yeah, it doesn't really affect the sideburn area too much. 
but then see you can kind of um, if you want like a two two tone hair, uh, like a beard, mustache, and all of that, you can actually do that here with this too. So then you you know just as an example, you could go in there and then change change this, and then you kind of get that weird two tone look, which looks very strange with that particular one that I chose. But yeah, I don't really like that for him. So we're just going to back out of that and leave it alone. Okay, now the eyebrows. Um, I want him to have a little bit thicker eyebrows, but nothing too crazy. Um, so that's actually not too bad. Those are too thin, and then you get the weird curved up ones. I think there's a Star Trek race that has that, right? Not sure. I uh, just kind of see this kind of more of a unibrow, which I don't want. Kind of a wolfman look there. Alright. So I think the first one is actually going to be the best for this guy. And we'll choose that same color again. Let's go down to previous colors. Push X to choose it. Accept, accept, and then confirm. Uh, eyelashes, you can get crazy on these too. But, you know, there's the longer lashes. If you so choose to have those, and then you can get crazy with the colors on that too. But I'm not going to mess with that for this guy. Uh, not gonna worry about eye makeup or lipstick. I don't want him to have any scars, so we're gonna skip all of that. And no face tattoos. Um, so I think the upper body you can choose like the chest hair, which uh, you know you can get these crazy, crazy patterns um, if you so choose to have those. But with this guy, I don't think I'm gonna have that because I generally have him covered up anyway. Um, so kind of the same thing with the back, you know, there's all these crazy shave patterns you can get if you decide you want to do that. Um, body hair on the arms, eh, I don't think I'm going to do that either, but again, you can get really wacky, you know, shaved uh, patterns with the arm hair, thicker hair, you can get these thicker hair patterns or whatever. Um, and I don't want to have the scars, but you know, that's always an option. You know, this is kind of what they look like. So you kind of got the, the uh, scrapes and bruises, uh, scrapes and cuts, sorry. And then this is for the uh, hands, but um, I'm not going to mess with that. You can kind of see it there on the way bottom. And then, you know, obviously a wacky scar for the chest and then the back as well, too, if you decide you want those. Um, again, not going to mess with the scars. Uh, torso tattoos, I'm not going to mess with those. Um, let's see, the left arm tattoos. I did have some tattoos on his arms last year, and I just used the generic ones that come with the game, uh, just because I did like them. But these are, you know, the ones that come with the game. Um, but to get other ones in, you know, there's some great videos on how to uh, import your custom designs. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, they have to be a certain size. And then if you go down, once you get those uploaded to the game, you go into custom images. And some of these are from characters that I've downloaded, other people's characters, and some of these are ones that I've uploaded. Um, so these are a couple here that I've uploaded. Uh, you know, I've got kind of a uh, Celtic design there, a little bit of a Celtic design. Have uh, a tiger tattoo that I found. Uh, you know, you got the Celtic knot, another Celtic knot, the Hydra symbol. Um, this is from a dwarf. I can't remember which game I found that from now. But anyway, that one is not mine, but I wanted to show that to you guys. Um, so again, these are just some that were downloaded from different characters. I think that's the Hardy Boys. Um, 
and then this is from a shirt that my son and I made uh, because I'm awesome like that then, you know another tattoo that I found and then you know cobra symbol I think that's from another character I downloaded but yeah you can kind of get crazy if you decide to but I think I'm gonna go back and just use the generic tattoos that I had on him last year so I was really happy with the way that looked once I get him uh, his uh, gear on him so I'm gonna choose that one I like the color I'm gonna go ahead and confirm it and then I'm gonna match the right arm with the same tattoo just because I that's uh, what I like All right, so we're gonna confirm that and then the lower body, I don't think I'm going to mess with any of that here. But, you know, again, the same thing. You can put tattoos on, scars, body hair, whatever you want. So we're going to go ahead and just confirm. And now we're going to go with the clothing. Um, I'm just going to go through these, just kind of show you guys the different options if you're not familiar with them. Um, fortunately, it doesn't look like I have enough points left or actually I think this has more to do with the hairstyle that I chose is why I can't choose some of these options here so with the longer hair some of these options become unavailable and locked out to you so you can kind of see you know some of them are available like this uh, headgear here wacky bird um, and then you've got the uh, crazy you know medieval guy Fan medieval fantasy guy there. Um, hooded clothing. So this is his ring attire too. I think some of that has to do with um, ring versus entrance attire as well. Um, I'm, you know, again, haven't played around with this too much. But since we are in the ring attire, some of this might be locked because of that. So we'll figure that out in a minute. But yeah, it looks like all the hooded clothing is not available at the moment. So neither is a high collar clothing. Uh, head accessories, you know, these are all goofy things, but I generally don't mess with those, but they are there if you guys want them. Uh, headwear, um, again, some of this is locked out, but yeah, I'm not going to put any, I generally don't put anything on him in the ring. And you've got the band-aids, you know, the masks, um, some of this stuff is again locked. This one doesn't look like it's showing up too well in there. It's an earpiece. You can barely see it on this guy. And you've got the crowns. Leaf crown. What is that? Butterflies? So yeah, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that you can do. So bandanas. But um, I'll just kind of going through here just to show you guys the different options. And you've got all the different hats. You know, seen John Cena hat. You got the generic one that you can color and uh, actually add um, logos to if you decide you want to do that. I'll show you guys how to do that on another one later. Uh, you, know, you got the Santa Claus hats. The, you know, there's a Santa Claus hat. Is this a uh, yeah bullfighter hat? I don't know the proper name for that, so I apologize. Backward derby hat. I think that's a derby hat, correct? And you kind of got the crazy... I think that was Randy Savage, correct? And then you can get into the... These, all these other crazy ones. So yeah, there's all kinds of different hats here that you can do to make your character. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the masks, but you know, they are there. Um, again, it doesn't look like some of these are locked out probably due to his beard. I'm not 100% sure right now. But it looks like most of the masks are unavailable for this particular character. And then the glasses. Um, you know, you got these wacky, some wacky ones, some kind of cool ones. Um, you know, again, there if you want them. Um, I think last year I had the uh, this particular set of goggles on him. I think um, I had colored them as well too, but only during the entrance. Some might put that back on during the entrance, not sure yet. Uh, and then the face covers, but again, these are locked, and I think it has more to do with his beard than anything. 
um, piercings. Um, I think last year I did have some earrings on this guy. So you can kind of see, you know, it always moves it around. So there's one in the ear, and then this is going to be the other side. So I think I might do that again because it, it was kind of neat. Uh, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to choose though. Just a lot of different options there. Is that a cross? Looks like a cross. Okay, so I don't remember what I had before. Let's see what we like here. Here's a big one that's kind of goofy for this guy anyway. So I'm not going to do any nose rings or anything like that. I kind of like the... Uh, actually, that's not too bad. It's got like, a lot of multiple piercings there. But I think I'm going to go back up to the top. And we're going to give him this set. And we're going to change the material. Going to make it metallic. And then changing the color. We're going to go to the sample colors and we'll just choose that one because when you change the yellow to the metallic it kind of gives it a gold look. And that's kind of what I was going to go for. So we're going to do that and then we'll match it on his other side too. So to, to, oh, what's that? That's weird. It's like a black line coming out of the back of his head. That's like a another bug that needs to be fixed. I wonder if that's from the earring I just put in. Alright, well we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, so to match that we're going to add... So we're going to go back into the piercings um, to add another set. Um, you push X on this plus button and then you find the matching set that you want or mismatch set, you know, whatever you choose. So this is the left ear and push X, push X on material, and then we'll go down to the metallic again, push accept, go down to color, push X, first color X, sample colors X, move it over one to the right to get the yellow, and then it kind of gives it a gold color. Um, you can kind of see the difference between the yellow and then the orange there. So I like the, like the uh, goldish color there. Confirm all of that. And then we'll go to his upper body. And again, we're in the ring attire. Um, so you got all these different options here. You, know, you can choose from um, actual uh, wrestling shirts, um, or you can choose the generic ones and make your own, uh, which is kind of what I'm going to do here. Um, so this is the shirt that I like for him. I'm not going to go through the other ones, but they are there if you want them. So I'm pushing X to get the shirt on him and then we're going to go to the material and then um, you can do the default or you can change it around a little bit if you want. You know, you got all these different crazy um, different material styles. So there's one you know this year that's glitter that's new and the carbon fiber is new the glow and then the black light is new too. Um, so the nice thing about the black light is um, if you choose, um, is her name Naomi? I'm, I'm suddenly forgetting, but I believe if you choose Naomi's entrance um, or her lighting, and my, my apologies, you can choose the entrance or the lighting when you make your entrance and then um, any black light sh clothing that you have on there will kind of glow in the dark like, like hers does. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go back up to the default. We're going to accept that and then we're going to go to the color and I like him to be dressed in black because in my book he is a thief and he dresses in black quite often. So I'm going to choose black, go down to accept, accept that and you can put images on if you decide to. So you've got all these you know, images that you can can add in. Um, I don't think I had any images on his shirt, but I'm just kind of going to go through here and see if there's anything that I like. So I think I had like this one. I think you can change the color on it. I'm just going to see. 
So yeah, you can change the color. But I think I had this one like on his entrance jacket before. But I'm not going to mess with it here. Um, but yeah, there's all these different images that you can use. There's another Celtic knot uh, that came with the game. I think I actually used that one last year rather than importing my own. Alright, so we're going to get back out of that. Um, and then the stitch, um, what that does, you can choose all these different stitching designs. Um, so if you want to try to put like stitching around like the bottom of the shirt, then you move your left uh, stick over. You can draw out a design. Yeah, and then you can accept it and then once you get the length drawn and it actually saves where did it go now doesn't seem to have added anywhere in oh yeah right across the center of the chest but I think you can um, actually move it too if you decide to but I'm just gonna take it off because I don't want it there um, what did I do wrong? Oops. So, yeah, it kind of erased on its own there. Whoops, what did I do? Gosh darn it. Backed too far out. That's what I did. So now I got to do it over. But well, that's alright. It doesn't take long. So I'll ch keep the default material. Just go back into the first color sample. Choose black. Accept. Accept. Skip all that and confirm. Um, so since this is the ring attire, we're not going to give him a second top or a jacket. Um, you know, these are the uh, generic outfits that you can choose from. So, you know, if you decide you want a generic outfit on the guy, and I think you can color some of these too. Um, but we're not going to mess with that. But, you know, they're there if you want them, and then you can change the colors and do whatever you want with them. But yeah, there's a whole ton of them. There's uh, the bird. Yeah, it's not letting me choose that one. An astronaut and whatnot. Alright, so going down to his elbow pads. I did give him some elbow pads, and they had uh, a Celtic knot on them last year, I believe. And I did kind of like that. I'm just going to see what um, pad I want, though. I don't want a too big of a one. I don't want too small of a one here. There's one that um, kind of fits a little Triple H's pad, but yeah, we obviously don't want his to say Triple H. And you can get the longer styled ones. There's another Triple H pad. Um, let's see, I kind of like the closed ones, but again, just kind of scrolling through to see what's available here. It's kind of a hockey hockey elbow pad, I think. Spiked pads. You know, you've got the medieval armor. Longer one, and you know, the old cross. Uh, another long one. But I think we might go into the generic here. And see where oh there it is. So I'm losing my cursor here. All right, so find one that I like here. So I think I might go with that first one. All right, and then we're gonna choose the material. So on this, I'm going to choose the mat just because I want to. <laughs> We're going to change the color to black. So you can kind of see with the mat color, with this pad, it kind of gives it a little bit of a sheen. We're going to accept that. Uh, now I'm going to see if I can paste an image on here. So I'm going to go into my custom ones that I had. These are all generic ones before, so I think I'm going to try this one. 
So you can choose to be able to move that. Why? Oh, edit maybe? Hmm, what am I doing wrong here? I might have to forego this because it's not working the way that I thought it was going to. I thought you could move those. Um, let's see here. Let's try it again. Custom images. Go down to that Celtic symbol that I had before. Alright, so we'll select it. And it's not letting me move. Oh, there we go. I did it wrong. You have to apply and then move. So, let's see if we can get the camera to move a little bit better there. Yeah, the phone's just, oh, just wondering. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to keep moving this over because I want it to be on the back of the pad. So let's see how that looks. And then to change the camera options, you click in the left stick. And then you can obviously rotate him with the right. So that's not too far off. The back of the pad there, I might have to rotate it a little bit though too. So... I wish that guy would get centered. I'm not sure why I'm not having him centered a little bit there. So we're going to rotate it a little bit to the left. Move it a little bit and then we're we'll check it again here. So I think we need to move it up a little bit maybe. All right. There. Let's try that. Let's zoom in on him. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so I have to back out a little bit here. Apply that. Whoops. What did I do? And I screwed up again. Gosh darn it. I keep backing out when I should be applying. Let's try again. Oops. So select it first. Come on, there we go. Apply. Move it here. I gotta rotate a little bit. And we'll check to see if that looks good. I thought there was a way I could change the color and stuff too. So I'm back out here. try again. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. So, whoops. So that changes the size, huh? Okay, so, okay, there we go. Now we can change how it looks a little bit here too, so that's not working a whole lot. Okay, so we're going to emboss it. I thought I could make it look gold, but apparently I'm not doing something correct there. So we might change the color of his pad a little bit. Um, just so that design shows up. Maybe we'll go with red. So I think we'll go with red. And I'm going to change it to be a little bit darker. So that's more of a burgundy, right? So this is more of a pinkish. More, well, not really pink, but with the lighting it looks pink. Okay, so I think we're going to go with... That's not too bad. I kind of like that. Alright. So there. Go ahead and accept. 